Hello and welcome to the DIY Investing YouTube channel. Today we are going through every company in the S&P 500 and today we're looking at APA Corporation, ticker APA, trades on the NASDAQ. And over the next five minutes, I'll discuss both my thoughts on the business valuation and business quality for this company. First up is industry. This is in the oil, gas, and consumable fuels industry. So description, they explore and produce oil and gas. It has operations in the United States, Egypt, and United Kingdom, and explorations offshore in Suriname. Um, produces and transmits assets in West Texas and holds ownership in four Permian to Gulf Coast pipelines. So it has a mix of pipelines and other oil and gas exploration properties. So the beta of 4.4 and a share turnover of nearly 700% tells you this is an extremely volatile stock and likely a volatile business. So that's a, a negative sign on potential business quality here. Um, return on invested capital. Immediately I see the very cyclical nature here. That's not a surprise for the oil and gas industry, but the more cyclical return on invested capital is, the lower quality it is. In addition, we can see that they lost money in one, two, three, four, five, six years out of the last 20. So that's a little too high. So six years out of the last 20, what is that? So that's 30% of the time they lose money. That's not a sign of a high quality business. I'm immediately bumping this down to either an average business or a bad business simply based upon this chart. So it's not just that they've lost money, it's also the highly cyclical nature. It's very unpredictable. Even in the good years, you're, it's been a long time since they've really had a double digit return on invested capital only in 2021, but otherwise you have to go back all the way to 2011. So a whole lost decade without high returns on invested capital. Not a good sign as a business. Meanwhile, your 10-year median returns are negative. So that means across a decade, they've lost money. Very, very bad sign. The PE of 12.6 might be attractive on first look, but again, when you compare it to this history, it looks pretty bad. So it's hard to make much sense to this. It says a negative book value, so they, they probably have negative book value here. Um, again, a very bad sign. And your Kagers, so your revenue has declined over the last decade, and you can see that really easily. In 2012, they were earning 16.4 billion, then 14 billion, then 12 billion, then 6 billion, then 5 billion, then 5 billion. And only recently has it parked up a little bit from 2020. But basically, this company's just been in a massive decline for the last decade. Not a good sign, not something you'd want to invest in. So I'm actually going to wrap this one up pretty early here. There's nothing else I could even see in the rest of this that would make this company look attractive. It's a low business quality, highly cyclical. The valuation is completely ridiculous with the negative book value. I mean, I can pull that up real quick and it's gonna be pretty obvious here. Yeah, so your shareholders equity is negative here. Um, you have just massive problems because the returns earnings, retained earnings has turned negative. Massive problems with this company. I would stay away. Um, not a high quality, bad valuation, just complete pass for me on APA Corporation. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to see some videos that have perhaps higher quality companies, stick around for the playlist, the S&P 500 playlist. I'm going through every company in the S&P 500. If you wanna get those future videos, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you can get notifications as I upload the new videos. Most of them are much higher quality businesses than this one, so I hope you'll stick around for the next video.